Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and today I'm up on the UK Scrap Addicts uh, blog, Instagram and YouTube um, with this month's theme which uh, we are doing a sketch. Uh, we've picked a sketch from Page Maps and the sketch will stay on the left hand side of the screen so you can see where I draw my inspiration from. So I've chosen to use the Glitter Girl collection from Shimmel and I'm just going through the papers um, to pick the ones that I want to use and this is probably my favourite paper. I've had a few of these sheets um, and yeah, I, I just absolutely love it. Um, the wood grain, all the colours. It's me all over. So I just started with a 5 inch strip, a uh, 5 by 12 inch strip of that paper and I'm not going to make it as central as the sketch um, and I want you to see how different my my layout looks compared to the actual sketch. I'm not going to go for a multi-photo either. I'm going for this photograph of me. There's a bit of backstory um, with regards to this photograph. So I was I was at work and noticed that um, on my colleague's desk was this thing that looked like a necklace to me. Um, so I put it on and thought, yeah, it looks lovely. Took a photograph of it to see how it looked and I thought it looked... Um, it looked really good with the outfit I was wearing. A little while later, um, my colleague said to me, oh, that looks great as a necklace on you. And um, I said, yeah. And she said, oh, it's, um, you could double it up as a necklace. And I couldn't understand what she was on about. And then she explained that it was actually a belt. Um, so I, um, yeah, so I grabbed this photo and thought, um, bit of a funny story, I'll, um, I'll scrap about it. And yeah, so this is the one I've chosen to use. I tend to use the Glitter Girl collection for um, photographs of me or um, me and my girly friends. Um, I've tried to make it work with uh, with boy pictures, but there's just too much sort of pink and rainbows and stuff in there. So um, just was I've been chatting away, so I'm just um, mounting. I've mounted my photograph. I've done it on a four by four inch um, basis. Um, so although the sketch does have the photo sizes on there I never to be fair I never really stick to them so I've pulled out um, the fact that the um, like the sketch has got a long strip down the middle um, it's got one other um, backing paper or layer on um, behind the photos so I've just grabbed this out of the 6x6 pad and again it's not going to be the size that's on the sketch but it really doesn't matter now, if you're squeamish about paper tearing, please look away now um, because there's going to be a lot of paper tearing going on in this layout. Um, so I started with the um, left-hand side of the pink paper, then I tried the right-hand side of the 12-inch um, the strip um, behind, and then I added in the other side of the pink and then the other side of the uh, wood grain paper. And I like the effect of um, torn edges. Um, with the sort of inner white cardstock showing through. There's me tapping my fingers, not quite deciding what I was going to do here. Now, if you haven't already done so, I'm going to um, do head over to the blog, um, take a look at the, the blog notes for this. Um, and if you don't already um, follow us on, um, on Instagram, then go ahead. Again, there's a link below for you um, to head on over to Instagram. Um, there's constant material up during the month for you um, to keep your um, to keep you motivated and inspired. Um, so as I said, this month it's the sketch. Now, if you're watching this video on my main channel, um, which is Scrappy Nerd UK, then I'll leave a link down below for the UK Scrap Addicts blog. Uh, it's not blog. The UK Scrap Addicts uh, YouTube channel as well. So um, do please head over. Um, over there and, and take a look at some of the other ladies work as well um, you will find much inspiration um, over there too so back to what I'm doing here I'm just layering papers um, again it, there's no layers in the photo um, in the sketch sorry there's no layers on there as such it's just one main one behind the photo and um, I decided I wanted to bring in some um, some more uh, layers behind my photo. You can do whatever you want with the sketch. You can do it absolutely to the T if you want to. Um, or you can do what I'm doing and just take small sections of it and make that your um, the base of, of you know how what you're working on. So I wanted some more of that blue 
Um, so I've added some more yellow behind the photo, I wanted some more of the blue, um, so I've just added a strip of that. And now I'm actually committing to the page as well and getting some stuff actually stuck down on here. Now if you've missed my um, videos on my main channel, my scrapping videos, apologies, I've, I was on a holiday and then I came back and then we had a week to get ready for Christmas and then there was Christmas, then I was at work and then it was New Year and um, just time has absolutely flown by this last month so I thought I'd share this video on my main channel as well um, so you weren't missing out if you weren't already subscribed over on um, UK Scrap Addicts and there'll be plenty more coming your way um, there'll be my vlogs going up as well from my uh, my Disney holiday so if you want to go and watch that then please do so next on to um, the looking at the, at the sort of the strips on the top of the page and the bottom of the page so there was a, a strip of different paper at the bottom of the page on the sketch but I've not gone with that but I've gone with a thick strip of um, washi that came from the um, sticker book um, and a couple of strips of the washi um, up the top so it's sort of pulling the pink up the top because the pink almost stops where the um, the back layer is so I'm pulling that pink up um, up towards the top and then I've just used these these are a um, on the cut apart sheet in the 6x6 pad and so I'm going to use that uh, one down the left um, bottom left is my journaling spot and this one here that I'm just sticking down now, it's almost going to be a subtitle. Um, I just like the sentiment on there for the story that I was about to tell. So I'm just going to add, um, just going to add a few more embellishments. I'll keep this one quite flat to be fair, so a lot of stickers. Um, I don't add any ephemera on this one, strangely, but I just work with the sticker book, just a few tiny word stickers and then I decide to bring in these circles and the hexagons to add a little bit of interest because there's a lot of white space there um, so I'm just going to bring these um, these circles in because the colours tie in lovely um, so I'm just going to add those and I was going to leave it like that but I do bring some enamel dots in in a second and this little speech bubble that says sparkle I thought was very apt um, because the necklace necklace stroke belt um has got a load of diamonds in so um and this little arrow that says oh so cool i thought it was cool putting that around my neck as a necklace and then just flicking through the rest of the stickers just to see what else um, i want to include here and then i stumble across the alpha sheet so um i was unsure about what i wanted my title to be and i decided um, if you've seen, I think it's, I'm sure it's Crocodile Dundee, um, where it says, that's not a knife. Well, that's where I got my title from, so it's, that's not a necklace. So I'm going to use these smaller alphas to do the first part of the title, um, so that's not A, um, with these ones. Um, and then I'm going to bring the, um, the wood grain gold glittered one, uh, ones from the, glitter girl collection and then I realized that I've got one e left and these aren't ones that you can um, sort of fudge and make some fake letters with so what I decided to do um, and I'm really getting into this is actually mixing and matching alphas um, so I decided all vowels would have um, a one of the little pink tiny alpha stickers and then the um, any of the consonants, I would just use the um, the actual thickers for. Apologies, this is off screen. I am trying a new filming setup um, with my new um, iPad Pro. It didn't quite work, so I can't see what's on screen um, whilst I'm doing this. But it just says necklace. Um, trust me, it just says that's not a necklace. So this is where I'm coming in with the enamel dots and. Um, I was quite generous with the enamel dots on this page. Um, I have bought another pack because I absolutely love these. Um, so I felt that I could go a little crazy with the enamel dots. And it helps just to finish off um, the sort of cascading effect that I was going for um, to the right hand side of the strip of paper. Um, and then finally, I think I just add my journaling. I do look to add, because you can see in the sketches, a little tag to the right hand side 
um, I do look to add that little yellow um, tag that you can see there to the left of my page um, to see if I can make that work and it doesn't and it just feels like I'm just adding things for um, adding things sake really so I don't here you go I've got to grab it I don't I don't go there in the end that goes back for another layout um, but yeah this is pretty much my layout finished so I hope you have enjoyed this process and um, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all very soon bye bye